Okay, you can write an axial momentum balance for the um, for a control volume and closing the entire pipe from the inlet to the outlet. And so I start off with the general kind of control, the momentum balance for a control volume, and then I take the component in the axial direction, and I'll get the left-hand side um, comes out to be that. And so that's the net momentum flow out of the control volume. And I'll show you how to implement that equation in CFD post. So first thing you notice is that there is an integration from along a line. So let's uh, <clears throat> go into CFD post from the outline, come into expressions tab and right click on expressions and say new. And let me call that new variable LHS. And then I want to do a line integral. So I right click and say expression, sorry, uh, functions, CFT post, and I'll say length integral. Okay. Um, and then I need to give the integrand. So first I have row. So it is an inbuilt variables. In this case, it's constant over the field. So I right click and say variable density. Okay. Times, um, I, ne I now need the velocity squared. So I'll say star, I'll do parenthesis and I close a parenthesis and so um, I have the velocity so the axial velocity so I'll say variable axial velocity is u squared okay so I have that term and then uh, and I'm going to do the integral at the location which is at the outlet so it'll, it'll use the velocity from the outlet and then I have minus 1. And this is really velocity inlet squared. So I have to, um, CFD post is very finicky about units. So if when I give it constants, I need to tell it what units. So in this case, the units are meter squared, um, second raised to minus 2. And so it recognizes it, and so it italicizes it. Okay, so I have that term in the parentheses now, and then I have 2 star pi star r. So I have 2 star pi is an inbuilt variable, and it highlights it. And r is the radial direction, which is y um, in CFD post and influent. So if I... <coughs> I need its y. Let me see if I can get it. Variable uh, y. It's over here. Okay, and then it says, okay, where do you want me to do this line integral? And that's where you need a location. And we already created a location called outlet. So I say location at outlet. Okay, so that should do that integration over the outlet, which means it will use velocity from the outlet and density from the outlet. In this case, that's constant. Let me try my luck. Um, that's an error from something else. Okay, so it did the integration for, for the left-hand side. Now, for the right-hand side, for the net pressure force on the control volume in the axial direction, I get an expression like that. And here I have to break it out. I need to do the integration over the inlet first and then over the outlet. And um, so I have implemented that. So if I go down here, um, let's see if I can show you. Okay, so that is my implementation of that expression. Okay. So again, I'm doing a line integral, and then I have my integrand, and then I have to do it over the inlet. So if, if you don't have the inlet location, create a location corresponding to the inlet as you did for the outlet, and then similar expression, but now you're evaluating at the outlet. 
And an expression like that will give you that result. And then the shear, the wall shear I get from Fluent. So if I go into Fluent and say report, result report, forces, and I'll say setup, and so I'll say it'll show you the wall zones. In our case, we have one wall zone, pipe wall. And I'll say, hey, integrate the shear um, along the um, x, you know, integrate over the wall and give me the component in the axial direction. And so I get the total shear force on the wall in the axial direction is that. And so I copied that into um cfp post okay um let me okay so that i got from fluent and now so now i have all the expression all the this this and this and note that you know the shear on the fluid acts to rotate the fluid where this is driving the fluid so then i calculated um, momentum balance as or it's actually imbalance um, as the pressure force driving it the shear force minus the shear force retarding it minus the net momentum out and I took relative to the shear and took a percentage so star 100 and so if I go to this expression here I get a momentum imbalance over the entire domain relative to the wall shear of about 0.1%.